Hello, welcome to the Code Rx blog and podcast. This is the podcast and blog where technology meets creativity and innovation. Now, this episode is brought to you by Creative Designs by CCW, a full service web design, SEO, and social media company. Now, my name is Candy, and I'm hoping that you enjoy the episode that we have planned for you. Today, we're going to be talking about Scala, and we hope that whether you're a seasoned programmer, a budding designer, or you're simply a little curious about the ever-evolving world of digital creation, that this episode is going to be for you. So, all right, go ahead and grab that coffee, that tea, or whatever whatever it is that you're sipping on, and let's get ready to unlock the secrets of Scala. All right, so in this episode, we're going to explore some details about Scala and why Scala is empowering modern software development. Now, in the vast uh, landscape of programming languages out there, Scala stands out as a versatile and powerful tool for developers. Combining functional and object-oriented programming paradigms, Scala has gained prominence in recent years due to its expressive syntax, strong type system, and seamless interoperability with Java. Now, in this episode, we're going to explore what Scala is, why it's important, and how it's used in modern software development. Now, what what is Scala exactly? So, Scala is short for Scalable Language, and it's a general purpose programming language designed to be concise, elegant, and highly expressive. It was created uh, in 2003, and it runs on the Java Virtual Machine, or JVM, which makes it compatible with existing Java libraries and frameworks, allowing developers to leverage the vast Java ecosystem. Why is Scala so important? Number one, Scala's syntax is so concise that it allows developers to write more expressive code with fewer lines, leading to increased productivity and readability. Also, Scala seamlessly integrates functional programming concepts such as immutability, higher order functions, and pattern matching, and this empowers developers to write clean and maintainable code. Scala is fully object-oriented, which supports uh, uh, classes, traits, and inheritance. Now, this hybrid approach enables developers to leverage both functional and object-oriented programming paradigms, really choosing the best approach for each problem. Scala also provides powerful uh, abstractions for concurrent and parallel programming, such as actors and futures. Now, these features make it easier to write scalable and high-performance concurrent applications. Also, it's the Scala seamlessly interacts with existing Java code, allowing developers to leverage Java libraries and frameworks while taking uh, advantage of Scala's language features. All right, now how exactly is Scala used? So first of all, Scala is used for web development. Scala is widely used for building web applications, just really thanks to frameworks like Play Framework and then Akka HTTP. So these frameworks provide robust tools for building scalable and reactive web services. Scala is used for big data processing. So Scala is a popular choice for big data processing due to its concise syntax and compatibility with Apache Spark, which is a powerful distributed computing framework. Now, Spark's Scala uh, API allows developers to write complex data processing pipelines with ease. 
Scala is also used for data science and machine learning. So Scala's expressive syntax and functional programming capabilities make it well suited for data science and machine learning tasks. Libraries like Breeze and Spark uh, MLlib provide tools for data manipulation, statistical analysis, and machine learning in Scala. Scala is also used for microservices architecture. So Scala's support for concurrency and scalability makes, uh, makes it an excellent choice for building microservices and architectures. Frameworks like uh, Akka provide tools for building uh, resilient and distributed systems using actor-based concurrency models. Scala is also used for desktop and mobile development. Scala can be used for desktop and mobile development, really thanks to frameworks like Scala FX for desktop GUI applications and Scala uh, JS uh, for building web applications targeting JavaScript platforms. So in conclusion, Scala offers a, a powerful combination of functional and object-oriented programming paradigms, making it uh, a versatile language for a wide, a wide range rather of applications. Now, its uh, conciseness, its expressiveness, its interoperability with Java make it an essential tool for modern software development, particularly in domains such as web development, big data processing, and microservices architecture. So again, as technology continues to evolve, Scala remains at the forefront empowering developers to tackle complex challenges with elegance and efficiency. All right, so now that we've learned what Scala is exactly, uh, why it's important, and how it's used, let's go through a step-by-step -step tutorial to cover what you're going to have to do to get started with Scala. First of all, before you start coding in Scala, you're going to need to install the Scala programming language on your system. Now, Scala runs on the Java Virtual Machine or the JVM, so you're also going to uh, need to have Java installed. So, step one to install Java, you want to go and you want to download and install the Java Development Kit or JDK from the official website, which is the Oracle website. Or you can also use a, pack, a package manager uh, if you're on Linux or if you're on a Mac uh, operating system. Now, once you've installed Java, you want to install Scala. So you want to go to the official uh, Scala, Scala website and make sure that you are downloading the latest Scala distribution for your operating system. Follow the instructions uh, that are provided for the install. Now, the Scala website is scala slash language dot org. Uh, that is scala slash lang. It's lang, not language, L-A-N-G dot org. Um, and there you're also going to find uh, a wonderful library and a community and a blog. You'll also be able to take some tutorials there. Now, be careful, though, because and make sure that you go to that official website because there are some imitation sites out there that, you know, are basically really just wanting to sell you a tutorial uh, or classes. And again, this is something that you can take the time to learn uh, without spending uh, money, you know, or, or those resources. So again, make sure you go to the Scala slash L-A-N-G dot org website. Now, once you've got everything uh, installed, you want to set up your development environment. So uh, you're going to need a code editor 
or some sort of integrated development uh, environment or IDE to write and execute Scala code. So some popular choices would be IntelliJ IDE uh, with a Scala plugin. You can use Eclipse. You can use uh, Eclipse with a Scala IDE. You can do uh, use Visual uh, Studio Code with Scala Metals uh, with the Scala Metals plugin. But once you've done that, <clears throat> you've chosen your editor, uh, an IDE or your editor, uh, and you're comfortable that you're comfortable with rather, and you have that set up, you are ready to start your work with Scala. All right, now let's review what we've done so far. So at this point, we should have installed our Java development kit. Then next we installed our uh, the Scala application. We made sure to install the latest distribution of, St of Scala for our operating system. And we've then installed uh, either a code editor or an integrated development environment or an IDE that we can use to write and execute our Scala code. All right, so now let's move on to writing our first Scala program. So let's start by writing a simple Hello World program in Scala to get started with the following code. Okay, now if you've written that code uh, or if you haven't written that code and you need more time, please pause the video until you have copied the code down exactly. Now, once your code is written, you want to save that code into a file that you should title Hello World.Scala. right now next you want to we're going to compile and run our program so in order to do that we're going to uh, follow these steps first we'll open a terminal or command prompt then we're going to navigate to the directory containing the hello world scala file that we just created then we're going to compile the Scala code using the Scala command. And here is our command. All right, now after successful uh, compilation, you'll see a hello world.class file generated in the same directory. Now, if you don't see that, then you want to go back and repeat the steps again. If you see the hello world.class file generated in the same directory, now you want to run the compiled, compiled program using the Scala command. And this is your command. Now you should see the output hello comma world okay now let's kind of let's understand the basics of what we just did and let's break down our hello world program so object hello world that part of the code defines a singleton object named hello world Now, the next part of the code that we typed defines a main method, which is the entry point of the program. And it takes an array of strings as input, input rather, arguments and returns nothing. So the unit in Scala is similar to void in Java. The next part of the code prints hello world 
to the console. All right, so now that we've written and run a simple Scala program, you can start exploring Scala's features like classes, objects, functions, pattern matching, collections, etc. Because Scala combines object-oriented and functional programming paradigms, offering powerful features for building scalable and concise applications. Now, I do want to send you to some official, uh, some places where you can refer to official Scala documentations, tutorials, and also books that will deepen your understanding and help you explore more advanced topics but I do hope that this tutorial has at least been helpful in giving you the basics of uh, Scala and getting you started. Now, again, I'm going to be sharing some links with you down in the description box that I hope you will reference. Uh, you'll also be able to go to uh, the blog <clears throat> site. Um, the CodeRx blog site, there you're going to see there is, uh, we've put together another article, Exploring Scala, a powerful language article that's going to give you a little bit more information. Now, again, if you don't follow us or don't subscribe to this uh, podcast, I really hope that you'll do that today. Make sure that you go and visit the blog. Again, that's the CodeRx.com. Uh, also follow us on LinkedIn because we post articles regularly there. Um, remember that this uh, video is sponsored by Creative Designs by CCW, and I'll leave a link to that website as well in the description box. So again, thank you so much for listening. I hope that you learned something today, and I can't wait to talk to you again on the Code RX blog and podcast. Bye-bye.